Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. Well, I missed out on Qualifier 1, but we made it here for Qualifier 2. We still got two shots to get into the semifinals in the tournament here. Um, <clears throat> so we're going off the Selenge River in our kayak. I'm going to chase the Taman and the Atlantic actually, so I, where, the, where I catch my um, northern pike, I'd have to travel too far in that kayak, two hours, and, and then there's not, not a whole lot of taming up there where they are. So, with that, I, I'm kind of going to gear myself towards that. So, let's jump over and take a look at the sticks I'm taking for this trip. I'm basically just going to go heavy all, all the way. I've got a river, a, the river spear. 610 ultimate roller 3500 on him going with the Thetis 67 and the XL spinner 6000 and this was one of the sticks that came in the DLC this is their beast master not a bad not a bad stick 60 pound and uh, that reel is a pretty good reel there the 5000 ends up 58 pound reel there not too shabby there and then so I brought three spinning rods um, like I said, cause we got, and these the spinning rods, I can I can go pretty fast between them. I don't really care which one, so I've got them loaded up. There's a walker on this one. There's one of those new um, <coughs> toppers on there, and I've got an I've got another walker on the river spear. So then I'm taking three casting rods. Now the reason I, I I'm taking the three casting rods is because I'm going to. The Taman hit hard and so did Atlantic on these mouse lures. So what I've basically done there is I've taken three pretty good sized casting rod reels. The Cosmo cast with a tornado on it. I've got the fish skull cast 7.3 with a fish bind. That's a, now this is a pretty decent stick. 66 pounds with a 65 pound reel. And then uh, we're going to do the sharp caster 7, seven foot SC with a power grab 7,000 on in 72 5 pound. And I didn't know how to round out everything else, so I decided not with these and with these mouse lures. If you notice, um, on the big guy, I've got a five aught, I've got a three aught on this guy, and I've got a seven aught on this guy. So I just threw in one more spinning rod and threw a frog on him. So that pretty much covers our top water lures I got you know however I hit them I'm just gonna you know you can only hit one in your hand at a time <laughs> so with that being said fellas that's um, that's how we're gonna go ahead and tackle this thing we're going over to the Selenge River where's that at? there we go all the way over this side all right usually I say make sure you got a license but they're giving that one to us so I will see you over there and we'll see how we do in qualifier number two. Hopefully we won't have to fish number three. <laughs> I don't know though. These tournaments are pretty tough to get in them. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All righty, we are here at my sports events. There's two of them there. So let's take a look, qualifier two and qualifier three. Oh, not on this waterway now, is it? So qualifier two. Sunday River is joined. Started 1329.28. So I guess I got two hours competitive room. Let's see where do I want to go in that boat dock, obviously. I don't want to walk over and get my boat. Alright, let's jump down there. Okay, I'll see when we get there. This could take a while. Alright, guys, we're here. Alright, now the thing you gotta know about is that fish point. So where is he at? Where can I, oh, I see him over that way. 271, 271 feet that way. 272, we're getting farther away, farther away. Oh, there it is right there in front of us. I'll be damned. That's what we got to go through. When we're all done here. Okay, that's where it is. I wonder what those little things there are. Hmm. I don't 
know what those are. Maybe those are big fish. Somebody tagged. Let's put a map up and see what they say. Oh, we got flags here. Hey, stop it. Come on now. Easy. Look, I can't click on it though. Huh. Wonder what that means. Well, I'm wasting time. I need to be fishing. Alright, let's go get the first one. What time is it that they put us in here? 1.06 p.m. Hey, right, wait a minute, where's my markers? There they are. Alright, we're gonna go over here and get set up. I knew what them damn things were. All right, what do we got here? 991 pounds. How many unique payment you think that is, fellas? <laughs> do we stand a chance? I don't know. We're 254 already. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't want to be too far away. Alright, this looks good. Let's drop that. So we stop. <clears throat> Alright, let's get a rod out of here. Let's throw the biggest. I want to go at six, I guess. Six. That's my five rod. Three rod. Shove them up, we'll go with that. Slot four. Oh, put that away. We throw the anchor up. Alright guys, well we're going to play around here until we get one. Hopefully we can get that first one here, maybe two in this spot, and then we'll slide down to the right. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright fellas, we finally latched on to something. Yeah, there he is, uh oh. Hey. Big T. Ah, that's a 454 pounder, he's little. Alright, we'll keep him. I moved this up the ladder, but still 150th. Alright. Well, we got latched on to one here, guys. Look pretty big coming out of the water, but. Ooh, we got ourselves a unique and a new personal record. 121 for Buck. All right. 21035. We'll have to get a picture of that one, guys. Right back. Alright guys, we got four minutes to get to the finish line. Well, I caught one 121 pounds. Not too shabby. Um, ended up getting onto that topper lure. 
at the very end there, when the light started dying on the mouse more, and it really picked up. I couldn't believe that. In fact, let's let's take a look here. I want to see how many just actually. Oh, I want my map up. There we go. Oh, wrong map. I need this one up. So the topper. One, two, three, four. So four out of the ten I'm allowed to keep. And those were the last, that was what I was fishing with last. So those were the last four that came in actually was on that topper. All right, let's get over here. Let's get over here to the finish, finish line so we can get credit for our fish. I guess that's what we got to do. I got a little warning up that said tournament ending soon. You need to get to the finish line. Well, another thing, I've fished with these, I've fished with these lures quite often actually here, the mouse lure, walkers, and I've never had more missed bites than I did today in this tournament. I catch a lot of, a lot of these taming on surface lures, and I'll bet you I had 15 missed strikes. You know, it could be me getting in, in my old age and maybe a little nervous because it's my third competition, but I don't usually miss a lot of strikes and I had easily 15 missed fish in this tournament. All right, what do we got to do here? Do we have to just go through it? Do we have to sit on it? What do we do here? Finish. What happens? Warning. Oh, if you don't leave the circle within six seconds of this tournament stage, you end automatically. If, if you don't leave. Okay. Time is up. Did I work? All fish caught will be sold at this point. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Total fish caught 14. Total weight. I get to do 653. Oh, so it shows the ones that I had to throw away? Yeah. Oh, but it doesn't say what I had, what I caught them on. Okay. I close. I don't know. Am I in the tournament or did it end? Let's go to sports. Tournament. That's finished. That's not done. Details. Details. I guess I won't know. I don't know if I got out of there in time or not. It said the tournament would end. I probably blew it. Oh well. We'll see you later.